But like you said, in Rome, is he's not a terror in the good works. But if you if you mess with him, he'll be he'll be, he'll be like that to you. But it's a righteous thing. But he's righteous, man. He he, he does things of righteousness. And and even at that, he'll make you do thing do something that you don't want to do just so he can get you. But that, he uses the left hand. Yeah. Yeah. To to they, he authorizes the left hand and wicked spirits to do his will. I got this. This is Jeremiah 30 and uh, 7, or 30 and 6. Uh, oh, uh, verse 4. Right, sorry, uh, Jeremiah 30 and uh, 4 and 5. For thus is the Lord. We have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man that travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? Yeah, a lot of you, lot, the scripture is saying that you men. Y'all gonna be laying in fetal position on the floor with your hands on your stomach, man. Because it's gonna be a horrible time. What, what, whatever, it's gonna be of everything. Death, hunger, thirst, uh, uh, no hope, no mercy, there's no grace, nothing. And all faces are turned into paleness. Unless, for that day is great. For that day is great. And that's what we're speaking about, telling you the great day of the Lord, the return of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that's going to be a great day, a horrible day, an awesome, a magnificent day. A day that's that cannot be compared to any other since the crea from, from the, the beginning of the creation of the earth. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, and that's the time of Jacob's trouble. Who's Jacob? The nation of Israel, the 12 tribes. You Negro, Latino, Native American Indians. Esau's about to open up. He's about to open up and show you who he really is. He already shows you a little bit. You know? Like you, like I was watching a movie earlier. It's something about, I guess it's something, maybe deeds. It's what that Tyler Perry do. And this woman was in the uh, in the line in the line because her and her daughter don't have a place to go. But the woman that's working for Esau's, you know, trying to take care of the poverty, you know, the poor, the homeless, that, that those, those uh, certain programs are set up by Esau. But she was she told her, uh, if you're not here by a certain day or a certain time, you cannot, you have no place to stay here. You, you don't have a place. And she's like begging her face, you know, it's, it's me and my daughter. She's like, these are the rules. So Esau's already showing you that he you don't give a he don't give a shit about you, you unless you follow his rules. Then there's there, then there maybe then you might get in. You might have a chance. You know he won't just be like dang. You know have compassion. Yeah. You know he'll just be like oh, you know just come in. You know fuck I don't give a fuck my you know he, he'll break his rules to break the Lord's commandments. Just to get ahead, you know, kill, steal, rob, you know, steal, destroy, Go, and he'll justify his his wickedness. But I just wanted to say yeah. that real quick. Yeah. But it says, "The last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. But he shall be saved out of it, which is the na the elect, the nation of Israel. They're the ones that are going to meet, make it to the end, endure to the end." Salvation is for nobody else. But that's the time we're coming in, Jacob's trouble. And it's gonna be like 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 the script is saying, like I said earlier, it's gonna be a, a, a horrific time. No, not, nothing can be compared to it. No war that's ever been prior can compare to the war that's about to come. World War Three. The world the uh, the, the, the world's war. Third World's War is going to be uncomparable, man. unimaginable. It's going to affect the whole globe, and America's the last. The Lord's got this place set up for a special thing. And, you know, read that last part again. It said, uh, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right, but the elect, we, if we're the elect, Lord willing, we have to take a look forward to that we're going to be redeemed. But we got to continue to fight, to fight off the flesh, because uh, we got to fight off the flesh through the spirit, because spiritually we're at battle. Like we, like we said in Ephesians, 
wrestler, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but you know, principalities, powers, and uh, rulers of, of the darkness of the world, you know? So in order to, uh, to be redeemed, we gotta continue to fight. But that, going back to that whole rapture thing, you know, that, that, that's bogus, that's not gonna happen. All hell is gonna break loose and it's gonna affect everybody. Those people that they'll even tell you what Matthew and Mark and Luke and, or, and, or and Mark that uh you know y'all people that think y'all gonna be safe y'all well some of y'all gonna have a chance to actually be around a man who is gonna be saved and he's just gonna be taken up and you're gonna be looking where he went. This is Revelations 12 and 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Yahweh Shabbat Right, because see, look, the elect men, they're keeping the commandments. They're fighting for their souls, man. They're fighting to get out of this place and to keep this true. And they're remaining faithful unto it, man. That's the thing, that's another thing, man. They're gonna, they're, the elect, they're gonna be going, they're gonna be going through times too, but they're gonna be uh, remaining faithful. They're gonna keep the law, man. They're gonna be keep rehearsing the righteous acts still. And the main thing is faith, though, because you gotta have faith. You gotta have belief and have confidence in the Lord. Because if not, man, it, you can't, without it, you're done. That's, that's, that's like your uh, part of your stability. It's not just the commandments. Or, you know, the brothers even say that you, if, if you have faith, you believe in the name. All you gotta do is believe in the name and you're good. But I'm not saying for you to keep. you want. You got to uh, rehearse the righteous acts with the commandments, but you got to have faith. Faith is a key item. And you got to know his name, the Father and the Son's name, and denounce this place, this world, man. The the, the philosophies of the bullshit that you learn in your school, uh, what your mom, daddy tell you, these fake ass pastors they tell you, you got to denounce all that. You got to deny yourself, denounce yourself too. I got one other one, uh, Revelation 6 and 9. And when he had opened the, set, the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and, uh, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Right, so, but going back to that testimony, man, having the right understanding, having the name. People are going to be dying. Or yeah, Esau's going to be trying to uh, take out the elect. It's, you're going to die. You're, you're going to die. Brothers are gonna die. That's part of it. They're gonna be martyrs for the truth. You know? yeah. They're gonna hold the testimony till death, to death. Even at that, the scriptures say, fight for the truth till death. Strive for the truth till death, and the Lord shall fight for you. Going back to Hebrews chapter 12, or was it 11, it tells you that they, those that died in the Christ, they, 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 they died to receive a better resurrection. They're going to be rewarded greatly because they died in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's, that's another thing. I was going to say, I was going to make a video about it. Hopefully, I still get what I wanted to tell you. Just, just make it known, you know, even to myself, for every brother that's in the truth, just, just be prepared to go through anything. You know, be prepared to, you know, just. It's on, Stu? Yeah. Uh, just be prepared to experience those things, to, uh, be prepared to maybe die, you know, because the most high, like again, 